I want a new camera in 2023. Money is the problem. Yar7, too much. But I do video, so the FX30, it's everything I need. It's all the video features, but wait. No, 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 it's APS-C. A real professional, and I mean a real professional, they need a full frame lens. So that leaves us with the FX3, a whopping $3,900. They say, just save up. Just save up all your money. Forget, don't buy the FX30. Save your money for the FX3. Oh, and I would. I mean, the thing is beautiful. Look at it. All these numbers, all these letters, I can't decide, all these releases, A, B, C, D, 7, R, but wait, they said- Your camera doesn't matter. Gear doesn't matter. Gear. Doesn't. Matter. Why gear doesn't matter. I think I've developed a plan though. And going on that philosophy, I'm going back in time. Going back to the year 2000. A great year for me. I was just a little sprout in high school, but it was the year that I received my first digital camera. Boom. The Sony Cybershot. This thing has followed me on so many journeys. It's an absolute tank. It's the Sony DSC50. I believe this to be like one of the most groundbreaking digital cameras and I think I'm lucky to have it. I think I'm very lucky that this was like a premiere. Oh yeah, there's also a little S here. And uh, yeah, so this was my camera. So I'm going to tell you some stats. It takes 15 seconds. MPEG clips, they're ten, about 180 by 180, uh, plus or minus some pixels, 2.1 megapixel stills, which surprisingly, I can still enjoy, and I have a, a separate project with that, but this is the feature, look at this, this is the year 2000, 2001, and you have a front-facing flip screen, this, my friends, this is what I believe to be the first vlogging digital camera front-facing flip screen. It was right in front of me. I didn't even realize the potential that I had. Look at this. Wow. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, it's absolutely wild about the flip screen. And I feel like, I feel like I'm one of the lucky ones that got to kind of work with it i had such a small memory card at the time i could only do like four videos and like four pictures it was this it was the smallest little memory stick that sony make and i had no idea at the time i was still like such an, a camera noob but i had this thing this beauty uh, let me give you a little recording here a little interesting front facing me you can see it's very pixelated the 180 by 180 is it looks good when it's smaller, but um, quality is going to be the issue. Can I make a quality story with this camera? I'm hoping I can do it. I think I can do it. And the challenge is going to be, I'm going to use this camera specifically until I can upgrade my other camera. I'm allowed to use post effects, lighting, any kind of tripod. I can't manipulate the lens or anything else like that. I have to keep the actual case the same. But I can use kind of like the technology that we have today as far as like post goes. So I'm going to be out there making films with this. I'm going to let you guys watch this. And you're going to tell me whether this is, is good or not. I think it'll be exciting. I wanted to challenge myself. I felt kind of bored. This is what I had to work with, so maybe I can work with it. I got this camera as like a sophomore in high school. My uncle is getting married. I'm like, hey, I, I need mom. I need a camera. And my mom, bless her, she says, okay. She gives me her credit card number. I order this thing. It's like the hot new camera. I think it was like six, seven hundred dollars. It was probably the worst thing I ever did to my mom, but she she realized that I love this thing, so I took this with me. And I'm, we go to down to Maryland. I've never been to Maryland or Baltimore before, and I see this Porsche 
Carrera 911, and it's red. And it just captivated me from that moment, the supercar, the rumble, and I realized I just love recording video. I was in the back seat, I'm hanging out the window, and I just get this thing, and, and whoever was driving it just hammers it, and just peels off, and I'm just like, wow. I remember feeling that adrenaline rush, and I, I captured that, and I was so proud. I, I had that clip on my camera for such a long time. I wish... I wish there was a way to recover it. I wish I still had it. One of the only clips I was able to recover from the past is going to be this clip right here. It's uh, my friend Carl and his Bronco. Yeah, very cool. A little bit of the past, a little bit of the history. If only I would have realized this was such a big thing to me then. I don't think I appreciated it as much. And it just kind of, it became one of those things that I just rediscovered, you know, 10 years later when all was said and done and I had some extra time on my hands and I came back home here and it was just... Yeah, I just got captivated by videos. I was always captivated by montages in games uh, ever since Unreal Tournament in 1999, like seeing like Foos, some of those early, early, early gaming montages and then transferring over to the Call of Duty series where they had music, there was action. I love that screenplay. I love that editing. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to make movies with this camera. And it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a challenge for me. It's gonna be difficult. There's gonna be problems. But what else am I gonna do while I while I save up for a, an FX three? It just seems like the logical cho choice. Go back, go back to my one first digital camera, Sony. I must say though, uh, Canon colors also very cool. Kind of like middle of my. Middle of like 2016, 17, I shot a little bit with a with um, a 60D from Canon, and I, I like that camera a lot. Um, it's very good, very good, very awesome. But for the challenge sake and for upgrading sake, I'm gonna try to stick with Sony with their tool. It's 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 nostalgia, right? It's absolute nostalgia. I I mean, who can say they're They've been a Sony shooter since 2000. You can really see some of the Sony details coming back. I mean, if you if you put this side by side with some of those new cinema cameras, it's not very far off. They even included like a little plastic grip and all that. So in closing, I'm going to leave my first edited video. Let me know if you guys enjoy this video, if you think this is awesome, if you think I went a little bit overboard on the effects, this is kind of like my first run. I'm not even using a real video editing problem uh, program, and I need advice, I need tips, I need help. If I'm gonna make this work, I also need a, a pretty good support system of knowledgeable people um, mentors be my mentor if you will please I, I I I implore you to leave a comment suggestions etc I'm your pal Rudy enjoy this short and remember look good feel good perform well They're only 15 second clips <laughs> Believe it or not, I think the movies, I think the movies actually take up less space than the pictures. Yeah, they do. It's crazy, that's wild. I know the sound isn't as good, but definitely stitch, definitely stitch the sound. I think Walter has the hiccups. <laughs>